Marty's feeling a bit enchanted. Here's a look at the Playmobil Back to the Future, Marty McFly and Dr. Emmett Brown. The Playmobil Back to the Future 1955 edition includes Ban Marty with guitar and Dr. Emmett Brown with Save the Clock Tower newspaper. More Playmobil Back to the Future stuff heading your way as we have a look at the 1955 edition of Doc Brown and Marty McFly. Unlike the last time we had a look at the set, which the ma was the Back to the Future Marty McFly pickup truck, I didn't actually measure the figures in that review, just assuming. I'm sure a lot of you guys would have known already the sizes, but we're going to rectify things. We're going to do things a little bit differently and kind of go back to the norm. We're going to take this tape measure of mine and we're going to measure these because I'm sure there are some people out there that may not know just how tall these figures actually stand. And it needs to be a service I feel I have to provide on this channel. Well, Dr. Emmett Brown, and just keeping in mind, he's going to be the same size as Marty McFly. So the figures are about 3.8, almost 4 inches in height. We can switch that over to centimeters. And then you're looking at the figures being about 9 centimeters tall. We have had a look at other Docs. We have had a look at other Martys. So let's bring in a couple for some comparisons. This was the Doc Brown from the 1980s Back to the Future DeLorean set. And then for Marty McFly, we actually got a couple of them here. Here's Marty McFly from the one that came with the pickup truck from the 80s. And then also there was the Marty McFly also, I guess, somewhat in the 80s or back in the 50s as well with his life preserver jacket on and the denim jacket. So again, you guys can see there's there are changes. Yes, notable changes that have been made with some of the figures. The outfits mostly being the things that do change. The head sculpts, though, are roughly going to be about the same to one another. Despite really only being a two-pack of figures from Playmobil, at least they include accessories with both Doc Brown and Marty McFly. Starting first with Doc Brown, and we're actually going to bring back Doc Brown, the other one from the earlier DeLorean set, just so you can see a closer comparison between the two. You can see this one does have the printed shirts, the jacket over top of it, and the more brown pa colored pants. He actually comes with a couple of accessories now. He comes with gloves. Um, these gloves, I have to be honest, look a little on the ridiculous side. When you clip them onto his hands, it actually looks like he's just got bear paws. Arr, bear paws. Let's go ahead and do, do the other one. And again, they, they're basically just capping over top of the existing hands. I think they look a little on the silly side. They, they, look, they look like bear paws. Arr. He does also come included. I like to see that they included this. The Save the Clock Tower newspaper. Some small print that you can still see. Clock tower struck by lightning. Clock stopped at 10.04. I'm sure if you looked a little bit more closer, you probably would be able to read the article. Maybe. Possibly. It's a thicker grade of plastic, and it just clips onto his hand. Just like that. You can actually turn it just a little bit, so he's actually looking like he's showing Marty McFly it with his bare paws. For the figure's articulation, I'm going to go ahead and take this out of his hands. You know, also while we're at it, let's just remove these. I think they look a little on the ridiculous side. Articulation, the head rotates back and forth. Uh, the arms rotate all the way around, of course. Rotate the hands, and you can also move the legs back and forth. Uh, they don't have foot articulation, in case anybody was curious. You can't rotate the feet or anything like that. Just to, again, show you, because I know we did it from a distance, but bring things a little bit more closer, you can see. This, is the Marty, this was the Doc Brown, excuse me, excuse me, that came with the Back to the Future DeLorean set. So again, not too much different is much too different between the faces. Something I actually didn't even mention with the Doc Brown. I'll mention it with this one here. I like that they shadowed. I don't know if you can see it a little bit. It seems like it's a little bit more of a darker color right at the top of his head. Yeah, actually, you can even see it right there. It's kind of interesting the way they've done that. I, maybe it is just shadow. I don't know. It kind of looks like they've painted it. Anyways, there is Doc Brown. Nice looking figure if you like Doc Brown from the 50s look. Go ahead and put him down. And then we can have a look at Marty McFly. Now, this is Marty McFly from his band performance, Enchantment Under the Sea. And again, comparisons quickly, quickly. Bring in the Marty McFly that came included with this pickup truck. Same face, same, really same. The bodies are the exact same, other than this one here has the longer sleeves. And again, one last time, the one that came with the DeLorean. 
it's just a matter of more preference. I mean, more, I don't, maybe the casual fans would be more on board just getting a DeLorean set because at least you get your regular Doc Brown and a regular Marty McFly. But, you know, it's nice to see at least they wanted to do things differently and give us different versions of Marty McFly. A uh, closer look at his face. And, of course, this one does have the jacket along with shirt and tie underneath. It's all printed. It's not, you know, it's not an extra layer of jacket or anything like that. Little buttons on the sides of his jacket. There's the back of it right there. It is a shame, really, that they have to print this on the back of the figures. I get it. They have to show it's copyright, right? They have to put it somewhere. But they have to put it so obviously at the bottom of his jacket like this. Be fair, though, you're really not going to be seeing it from the back. Most likely, you're going to be looking at it from the front. Marty McFly, for his accessory, comes included with a guitar. Nice little touch. The strap of the guitar is a more softer rubber. And then the idea is this just fits over his arms. Actually, you know what? It helps, I find, to bring the arms up like this. Almost like he's putting on a jacket. Is that how you put on jackets? Some people do. I guess it's more like a sweater. That's how you dress a small child. Let's get one arm down. Get this other one. There we go. And the interesting thing about it is they put a little ledge on the on the back of the, the guitar. And that just clips into his hand. Just clips into his hand like that. And then the other hand, you can just look as if he's about to strung a few of the strings here. Again, it's fun. It doesn't really come with any other accessories. This is solely just a two-pack of differently looking, different looking Marty McFly and Doc Brown. If you do like the design of these characters from at least the 50s, it's a great set to actually pick up. And again, we can just bring in those other characters again. Just, again, one last time, just before we take things to the rotisserie so you can see the difference between the figures. And you, you know what? Why, why not? Let's bring in bring in Jennifer. Claudia Wells, J Jennifer. We'll bring in Biff. Where is Einstein? Where is Einstein? There's Einstein. We can put him right in the middle there as well. Based on only just the three sets I've looked at so far from Playmobil, I think there's still that one that's eluding me from the 2000s, the Back to the Future 2 set. These are basically all the figures that we've gotten so far from Playmobil for Back to the Future. Again, just more variations of pretty much the same character, just different outfits. But if you kind of like all your various different Marty McFly looks, this set, small as it is and very little in the way of accessories, is a nice pickup to add to your existing Playmobil Back to the Future releases. Sorry, no. Bare paw gloves. You will not be making an appearance in final looks as we have the two figures spinning around on the rotisserie. Generally, though, when it comes to Playmobiles, whatever they wear, gloves or anything like that, it's basically you're just capping it over top of the clamp hands. And sometimes it's effective. Other times, like in Doc Brown's case, it looks like he had bare paws. The figures, like I said, this is just simply just a two-pack. It's an add-on to, I would think, the other main sets that you're probably going to be picking up. Is everybody going to be wanting to get on board getting a 1955 edition? Just Doc Brown, just Marty McFly, maybe. Some. One good thing, though, is because it doesn't include a vehicle or anything larger with it, it's a more inexpensive set if you're just looking to get the figures. It would also be nice that perhaps they could also release an 85 version of just a two-pack of Doc Brown and Marty McFly. That's for, I'm throwing that out there for the, I'm trying to think of those out there that maybe don't want to get a DeLorean. Let's just say, I don't know, throw the scenario out there that there's a collector that wants to just get the figures of Playmobiles, Marty McFly and Doc Brown. They don't really need a DeLorean. They don't have the space for the DeLorean. They don't want to spend the money for the DeLorean. Maybe, yeah, they could also have released an 85 edition that also has the Marty McFly and Doc Brown. Basically, basically those same figures that we got with the DeLorean set. This set is nice if you do like the 50s look, which I personally do. I like the idea of finally getting an enchantment under the sea, Marty McFly, and a Doc Brown. That's still crazy. Doesn't matter what time frame he's in, he's still, he's still loony. He's still a crazy looking guy with bear paws, which no bear paws in this final looks. What do you guys think of this set? Simple as it may be. What do you guys think of the 1985 edition Back to the Future set from the folks over at Playmobil? Let me know down below in the comments section. If you are also new to this channel, I was going to stop myself. For, you know what? I'm going to stop myself for a second. I'm going to throw a video question out there for you guys. I wasn't going to do it for this review, but I'm going to do it. Throwing this out there. What is your favorite Back to the Future movie? Let me know down below in the comment section. Personally for me, Back to the Future Part 2 is my personal favorite of all the three Back to the Future movies. But what is your favorite? Let me know down below in the comments section. Now resuming where I was going to be leaving my train of thought. If you guys are new to this channel, there you go and you're liking all the content you're seeing here, make sure you hit the subscribe button down below, turn the bell notification on, and making sure, yes, you're coming back to this channel on a regular basis because there will, in fact, be more reviews. Is that what we do here? 
Is this guy always doing more reviews? He is. He is. I don't even know why we're whispering. Because judging by the fact he's looking right at us and he's nodding his head up and down, he, he totally knows that we're talking about him and that we're whispering and failing to do so. He can still hear us. But yes, there are definitely going to be a lot more videos coming away. So yes, keep your peeper peeled to this channel. And as always, thanks for watching. See you guys next time.